Hello everybody, John here, aka Professor Bubbles, and once again, welcome to my laboratory. And today, we are going to be opening up Glaring Rapidash V-Box. I recently got at my Target, and I, it's kind of funny. Uh, well, not funny, but it gives you an idea. All the scalpers out there, you forgot something. Um, but the most part, I've seen most of them just go off the EBT boxes. So when I saw this out there, I was like, you know what? I... I'm not a Brony fan or My Little Pony fan, but I'll tell you what, they did a great job on um, changing the alteration to Rapid Dash. And not only that though, but this card, I believe is gonna have plenty of unique potential. Um, and I'll show you guys why in just a second. Yeah, open these up. So, the main thing that's unique about this card, and luckily enough, they made a blown up version of this. It's 210 HP, it's not bad, weak against dark, which is not a favorable um, weakness. But what's really interesting about it is his first attack. It's called Libra Horn. Well, for two energies, two colors energies, so what's nice about this is it can be splashed in a variety of different decks. Um, you can put damage counters, not do damage you put damage counters on one of your opponent's pokemon until its remaining hp is 100. again folks it puts damage counters on one of your opponent's pokemon this card gets to select an active or a bench opponent's pokemon and basically goes okay you're a v max on bench you're trying to charge it up well guess what libra horn you now have 100 hp left um that is gonna be a crazy tech card, and I've, and I think the way it's worded, it allows you to choose which one you want. So, second attack psychic does 60 for two energy and does 30 more damage for each energy attached to the opponent's active Pokemon. It's good, not the best, but it's so good. It's the, it's that first attack. I will be building some decks, and I'll be showcasing how good that's gonna be in the future, near future. Um, as I see here, we got four good packs. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, I appreciate the Target for having their supplies. Um, but uh, I noticed right away that uh, scalpers, once again, I uh, probably had maybe 100 people in line and I just happened to be walking the Target. Um, and I was like, you know what? I'll get in line and see what happens. I took some pictures and I was surprised how people were being so rude. But the funny part was, is when I finally get up in line, oh, we got a green card. Um, not a single one touch Rapid Dash. They all want the EBT boxes or whatever they can get their hands on to make the most bucks. So, um, to all you scalpers out there, I mean, you do have the right to buy, but you don't have the right to be rude. Always remember that. Everybody has the right to purchase whatever they want to purchase, because that's the great thing about living where we live. But um, you do not have the right to be rude. I mean, we all learn to be polite as much as we can. And I just want to be able to say that right now that uh, I'm not very appreciative seeing grown men talking down to children in line or talking down to women. Or I just, the way I was raised, that is not a good thing you should do. Oh, that is weird. I got to pack this backwards and it's white codes. Oh, you know what? Here you guys go. Two, three, four. But yeah, that's one of my biggest pet peeves that um, people just need to be playing lines, you know. And it sucks when you see a bunch of men, uh, you know, bring their entire family so they can just go ahead and, oh, that's interesting. Well, I guess the rare was the King's Kong. Not bad. But um, it's sad to see families that I saw online and, I'm hearing their stories like, oh, I don't have a job right now, but some of them are not working right now because they make more money in employment. And these are the guys who are making the games uh, harder and more difficult to get cards because they figure that they could be waiting in line all day and make a quick buck. Well, I hate to break it to them, but eventually that train is going to stop as soon as Pokemon get their feet up and get the supplies higher where they can't... Uh, um, Get the supplies enough out there so people can buy without having to go through uh, third-party people in general. Ooh, Crowdon. That's pretty cool. And Marowak. 
Not bad. And the last pack is Rebel Clash. So if you guys haven't noticed lately is that whenever I get white codes, I want to make sure you may have some fun with it. And I always reveal those codes to everybody. So, two, three, four. Trevor, Carcoal, Hattran, Scyther, Nosepass, Wingle, Coughing, Bronzor, Meowth, and Gob Order. Not bad. But like I said, I hope you guys will enjoy my videos and plenty of them are going to be in the future. Um, again, I believe in the future, um, Rapid Dash is going to see some really interesting tech plays. <coughs> mainly because you have very high HP Pokemon and it just goes, you know what? I'm going to slice your opponent's bench right there, you're, you're charging up, and I'll make it 100. Yeah, it doesn't knock it out, but it does set it up for easy knockouts in the near future. So. I'm actually gonna make a creative deck with this. I'm calling out. I want to say uh, this will be an interesting tech with uh, file links uh, with the rap rapid strike uh, variation decks. I we're gonna give this a try. See how well it could uh, help out if you can set up uh, energy uh, correctly without uh, losing the turn the put energies on. We'll see how this works out, but. Uh, other than that, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, everybody, and don't forget to leave your comments. I like to see what you guys have to think about these uh, uh, Gladiator Rapid Dash V. And until next time, I'll see you guys then.